Hello everybody, and welcome back to our Elder Scrolls 3 Morrowind playthrough. I am your host, Valenfor. And you may recall a couple of episodes ago I was talking about the Propylon... Um, what are they now? Propylon uh, chambers in the old Dunmer settlements. And there is actually a Propylon index just here. The Velvaran Propylon index. And that allows us to travel from another place to Valenveron. Uh, but we're not going to steal that just yet. We may look at doing that another time. But in any case, let's continue from where we left off in the last episode. We have just been to the Cavern of the Incarnate. We've picked up the Moon and Star Ring. And now, I'm going to kill a Cliff Racer. That wasn't actually what we were going to do at all. But uh, I may as well try and get this guy down. Whenever you're ready. Se I mean, seriously, whenever you're ready. I think I've heard of you before. There we go. Right. So let's go and see if the Urshalaku Ashkan will name us um, Nervarine. You've passed the first trial before, you lies the fourth trial and the fifth trial. I've spoken to Nibani Mesa and I know these trials you wish to be called a Shilaku Nerevarine, but first would you hear the Council of Solm at all? Uh, yeah, go on. Good, so first I would give you warning. When you are called Nerevarine, the word must spread and many must hear. Your enemies will hear and come seeking your blood. And such friends as you may have among the great houses, those who heed the words of the temple, they may forget their love for you. If you have business with the people of the great houses and temple, you may wish to conduct that business first before your name Nerevarine. Continue. Second, I will tell you, seek the counsel of wise woman Nibani Mesa, for you are an outlander and ignorant of the ways of our people. Nibani Mesa can tell you of the other tribes, of their ways, and of their Ashkins. If you do not know these things, you will make many mistakes and waste precious time. That is my counsel. Now if you wish to be named Urshalaku Nerevarine, we may speak of these things. Well, let's get on to it then. Very well. You wish to be called Nerevarine? I know you and am disposed to do so, but first we must speak of need and duty. Before I name you Nerevarine, you must understand why a war leader is needed, so you may tell others. And before I name you Nerevarine, I must see you know your duty. Only when we have spoken of these two things shall you be called Nerevarine. Okay, so let's talk about need first. Know the words of the prophecies. The curse of Dagoth Ur and the sixth house threatens our land. The false gods lie and offer false hope of protection. You bear the moon and star of Nerva, of Nerva, sorry, Azura's hand is upon you. These are the proofs you must show to all people as Urshalaku Nerevarine. Fine, okay. And how about duty? You shall be Nerevarine of all of the tribes, Hortator of all the great houses. You shall eat the sin of the unmourned house and free the false gods. You must defeat the sixth house and Dagatha. You must free the tribunal from their curse. This is the burden of prophecy. This shall be your duty as Urshalaku Nerevarine. Fine. So, before my hearth and kin, and before the people of the Wastes, I name you Urshalaku Nervarine. Why, thank you. War leader of the Urshalaku and protector of the people. In token of this, I give you teeth, which shall be a sign of, uh, to all Dunmer that you are the Nervarine, and that the Urshalaku shall follow you in all things, even unto death, until the enemy is defeated, or until you are dead, or until you give this back to my hand. So we've been given the teeth of the Urshalaku. Okay. I don't know where to begin. What does that do it is now? Such an honor to me. Constant effect, resist paralysis, 10% on self. That sounds delightful. Let's put that on now. And have I got rid of something else? Oh, it's got rid of my Amulet of Shadows, but I can always um, just, I think, use the effect without wearing it, perhaps. <coughs> Excuse me. Right. Let's uh, put our night eye back on so I can actually see what we're doing here. If it actually wants to work, there we go. Ah, and I've gone and clipped into another building. Thank you. Right. Blooming game. Okay. So let's go and speak to her one final time this about the other. Us. Um, Please. About the. Oh, shush. <laughs> about the other. Um, tribes. Okay. So, we've been named Urshalaki Nerevarine. We need to go and see the Aomesu. 
You must go to the Ayamusa camp. I have heard the Ayamusa are in a pitiful way and that they do not have an ash can. In this case, the wise woman may be acting as the chief of the tribe. Perhaps she can speak for the tribe to name you the Ayamusu Nerevarine. Uh, they're in the Gravelands and are peace-loving. Okay, fine. How about the Zainab Nerevarine? You must go to the Zainab camp. The Ashkan of the Zainab Kalsad is a strong and popular chief, but he is known to be vain and hard-headed. To persuade him to name you Zainab Nerevarine, you must be strong, yes, but you must also be clever to please him and earn his favour. And finally, the Erebonimsum Nerevarine. You must go to the Erebonimsum camp. The Ashkan of the Erebonimsum Ulath Pal is a strong chief, but violent and cruel. Oh, okay. He and his uh, Golakans are known as killers and attack unarmed victims and betray the rules of hospitality. It is a difficult problem. Only the Ashkan can name you Nerevarine, but this Ashkan may not be willing, and even if he were, he is a bad chief, dishonourable and not to be trusted. I do not know what you should do. Speak to the tribe's wise woman. Perhaps she can give you counsel. Okay. The Erebonimsum are in the Molagmar area. We know that already. And the Zainab... The camp is in the interior of the grasslands. Fine, okay. What we're actually going to do now is we're actually going to take a little break from the main quest. We are still going to do it, of course, but we're just going to head back to areas that we know. I'm going to cast Divine Intervention in the hopes that it'll actually work. Uh, of course, it just fails automatically because, you know, my skills are terrible. There we go. And of course, we can always recall here um, later. The reason I'm going back is we have a number of quests that still need doing. Um, whereabouts are we now? Uh, we're in Nessus. Okay. Um, what I want to do, more than anything, is to uh, finish off that Thieves Guild quest. That means getting our security up to, I think it's 50, which um, is a real pain in the ass, let me tell you. But. Nevertheless, it needs to be done. It's going to be costly, um, but it will allow us to reopen the Algrun Mages Guild and potentially pick up some uh, quests there as well. Uh, we need to head to Algrun anyway for the Red Ran uh, Great House. So that's another reason for going to do that. And to be fair, I need to go and visit the creeper so I can go and offload quite some um, you can ride. some items because we're carrying quite a bit at the moment. So first off let's head to Balmora. That is where the security master trainer currently resides. So let's go and see what he has to say. I believe he's on the opposite side of the uh, river. It's not this one, is it? No, it must be this one. No. Oh, which one was it? Was it this one? Her Serene's house. This is the fellow. Right, so, uh, Barter. What's he got? He's just got lockpicks and stuff. Okay, great. Um, he doesn't want any of the stuff that I've got. Although he does have a thousand gold, which is quite interesting. I didn't realise he had so much. Training. It's going to cost us 411 gold per training level. We need 10 of these. This is going to be costly. Okay, let's just get on with it here. Security 407. That went down. 416. 426. Care to talk? Luckily, I can obviously get some of this back when we go selling later, but... Wow, okay, we've already leveled up. That's nice. 47. 48. I've just gone and bought the wrong thing there. 49. Want 50. And what's our gold looking like now? 23k. I suppose it's not too bad. And I've got to hope that level 50 is what we need um, in order to actually unlock the chest itself, otherwise I'm going to have to buy a new um, unlocking spell. Right, so intelligence. Let's get that up straight away. I'm going to put another point in luck, actually. 
Some people may still consider that a wasted point, but I really don't think so. Luck is actually really, really helpful. And as always, I think maybe strength or actually no endurance. That helps us level our health a bit. So, uh oh, another dream. I think I'm about to be attacked. <laughs> Unlucky. Not this time, fella. He thought he was going to be sneaky and uh, whack me from behind, but <laughs> I actually caught him off guard. That was amazing. Oh, what a great feeling. Okay, I didn't even realise that we're already level 12. Jeez, go so fast in this game. Okay, um, what we need to do now then is head off and it might be worthwhile actually visiting the guild halls just quickly to pick up some extra potions. And I could do with an armor uh, hammer or five, so let's pick those up. This one's got no health, but it does have arrows which we do need so let me pick that up uh, let me just go and see if I can repair my stuff my armor is at 14 I should try and invest maybe some points in armor oh wow Okay, well, I just managed to eat through all of that. Please don't be shy. Uh, training. Should I get some in armor? Yeah, why not? Let's get that to 25, actually. Might uh, It might make it easier for us to repair our stuff. And, of course, it will help with... Um, ...leveling our... What is it? Strength? Oh, it is strength. Wow, okay. Fantastic. Okay, great. Yeah, 22... And it's not overly costly either. 23, 24, one more. 25. Fantastic. And Barter, does he have anything else for us? I might just pick up a journeyman's hammer or two. Actually, no. We can go to one of the other, um, other places and pick those up. That's not a problem. Okay, so this guy has uh, 2,000 gold. So it might be worthwhile getting rid of some of this stuff. Um, that's 12,000. He's not going to want that. That's 10,000. Jeez. Um, 16,000. 11,000. Uh, I've got one arrow there. That's 20,000. He's definitely not going to want that. The black pants he doesn't want. I take it the belt he's probably not going to want either. The sixth house amulets. Does he want any of those? Probably not. No. What blooming use are you then, mate, eh? Kaisa's ring, no. Ah, uh, you know, you are useless. Absolutely useless. Okay. Um, yeah, really no point speaking to you then. And did I actually... Oh, no, I was going to get them at uh, another guild house. Right, okay, let's head into the Mages Guild then. Check the chest in here. Oh, wonderful. Welcome, Outlander. We've got anything, nothing, brilliant. Okay, they've not restocked, it would seem. I, that one. I will travel to Caldera quickly. I see. I stand in good company. And where's the chest Welcome. in here? Please don't be shy. Please go ahead, Outlander. Is that it? I'm listening. No. Well, where in God's name is the Major's Guild chest Welcome. gone? Please don't be shy. I'm listening. Walk with virtue. Do they not have one in here? Oh, that's odd because I'm pretty sure we've taken something from the Major's Guild chest in what here before. Have we not? No. Something doesn't make sense here. Um. Yeah. That, ouch, doesn't make sense. 
So they have no Mage's Guild chest. May I help you, Outlander? Well, yeah. You can point me in the direction of the Guild chest. Oh well. I'm not going to lose any sleep over it. Let us go and reclaim some of our money. Go ahead, What's Outlander. Saying? I'm going to do a little bit of resting whilst we're in here as well, just to uh, obviously allow him to gain his money back. So then, you've got 5,000. 5,000. That's going to be quite tricky to do. Okay, so let's start with... Those Daedric Gloves are amazing, but we already have these two, so I really don't think these are worth holding on to, but if I give him one of these, 14,000, I need to get 9,000 back off him. So I'd need to pick up the boots and, let's say, one of those to give me 4,000. Then I need to give him something worth 1,000. Has he got anything else? of value here, just in case I need to keep sending stuff backwards and forwards. Okay, so if I give him that, can I take that? 8,000, and then I need to... Ah, all three of those? There we go. Offer. Ah, all right. So let's wait 24 hours. Does that give him his money back, or do I need to wait another hour? No, that's giving him his money back. Right. Okay, so next one then. Let's give him, uh, I guess, two of these. Yeah, and one of those. Really cheap way of making money. But it's not cheating. It's in-game. I just wish they would give um, vendors more money, you know? Because it is quite ridiculous having to do this over and over and over again. Right, okay, next one. And another two of these. Offer. Um, there is also a mud crab merchant in game, which uh, has 10,000 gold, I believe. But. Uh, this guy is so much easier to sell to because you don't have to trek to the end of the earth to find him. Okay, there we go. And what is your business here? How may we help? Yeah, barter. Let's give him another two of these. Oh wait. Uh, Alright, let's go for three. And has he got something that's worth a thousand? Oh, of course he has. He has those. <laughs> Dearie me. Alright, we'll buy that back off him. Offer. Close. And we'll wait one more day. And then what we'll do is we'll trade him the last of the amulets. Barter. Last of those. And one of those. Uh, makes 3,000. Have I got anything else that's worth getting rid of? For like a 1,000. Uh, let's get rid of that. I don't really want that. Um, I need to hold on to that. I really don't want that, or the ring, or his shirt, for some reason, giving me all this tat. Uh, that's worth 3,200. That might be worth getting rid of, actually, because that's quite weighty. And that puts us up to 6,000. Let's take one of those back. And... Yeah. And then offer... I can't afford this transaction. Well, sell a max. There we go. Offer. Oh dear. Right, okay. That has dropped our weight down a little bit at least. I greet you. Not a significant amount, but at least we've made some money. I'm really not sure how much money we have made there in transactions. Wow, we're up to 51k. I don't need to worry about buying training anymore then. So that's good. Alright, well, let's quickly 
before we end for today, let's head over to oh, people in my way as usual. Let's go and head over to Aldrune quickly. Hopefully we can travel from here. But we just can't travel back, right? Yeah, that's right. Okay. And uh, I need to see if we can't lockpick this um, thing now. Where's the master's lockpick gone? Oh, no, wait. I've got one on the go, have I? Yeah, there we go. And hopefully now with a level 50 locking, or lock picking rather, we should be able to unlock this chest. Which one was it now? Was it any of these? Lock too complex. Are you being serious? Or is it this one? Yes! There it is! Finally, Anna Renan's Devil Tanto. Oh my god. I seriously hope that that was actually worth the effort of me having to pay for all those levels because security is one of those things that you don't level up very quickly in this game. What oh, can I do? Good lord. Okay. Well, let's head over here to the Thieves Guild inside the uh, rat in the pot. Was he down here? Or was he at the back of the inn? Yes, sir. Yeah, he's down here, right? Here he is. Finally, Agengoth. Here we are, sent to Anaren's Devil Tanto from the Major's Guild. Did you run into any trouble? Yes, there was a guard. Damn, seems like the Major's Guild always knows when we're planning something. Did you get the Devil Tanto? Yes, here it is. Yes, this is just what I wanted. You can keep anything else you found. Thanks. Advancement? No one questions your skills, but some question your loyalty. Really? Did you see how much I spent on security skills? You should do more jobs. Fine. As a customer who wants a Redoran Master Helm. The client of ours wants a Redoran Master Helm. Most of the councils, councils sorry, in House Redoran have one, but they can be hard to find. I know Minor Arabar has one, probably in his bedroom. You'd have to check the Arabar Manor here in Aldrun under Scar. Fine, we will do that then. But, of course, that will be next time. Guys, this is where we're going to have to end for today. I really hope you've yes, enjoyed this something. episode, though. If you have, please do all those lovely social media things. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe if you are new to the channel. And I will see you next time for more of our Elder Scrolls 3 Morrowind playthrough. But until then, take care. Bye.